So Africans are now gathering to celebrate the success of Afrobeat, Nigerians Afrobeat. Yes, it is actually finally happening, my guys. I have been talking about it. I have been urging that Africans must recognize and celebrate the success of Afrobeat. Celebrate the contribution that Nigeria is giving Africa internationally, globally. Because for Africa to be respected the way they are today in America, in Europe, in the UK, anywhere in this world, even in China, anywhere, is thanks to the effort that these Nigerian musicians have put in place. Nigerian content creators, Nigerian youths. Nigerians have put in so much work to get Africa to where it is today. But for the large amount of time, Nigerians have only met challenges, obstacles, criticism, described as they are from other African countries who were not in support, who didn't show love to Nigerians for winning. But eventually, hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's more hope that Africa can really realize what they are missing and join Nigeria, work with Nigeria and celebrate Afrobeat, African music, so that we can achieve more, we can grow together and we can win together as Africa. But at least not everybody was there in this summit I'm about to present to you. Not everybody was there celebrating or recognizing the success of African music, the success of Afrobeat, the success of Nigerian boys that have made Africa proud in music. But at least some key people were there. And I can already assure you that Ghana was not there. I did not see, I, don't, I did not hear Ghana's name in this summit that Africans gathered to celebrate Nigeria's music and Nigeria's success and Nigeria's contribution. But why was Ghana not there? Some of you will be asking, why must it always be Ghana? Why must Ghana always try to, you know, they have their own reasons not to be there. Maybe because they are not happy with the fact that Afrobeat has, is, is, belongs to Nigeria. Or they are not happy with the fact that the world has come to discover the truth that Nigeria did not learn Afrobeat from Ghana. Nigeria did not copy from Ghana. And Ghana did not help Nigeria in any way in Afro music. It's either, is the other way around. Is Nigeria that instead contributed a lot to building Ghana music, building Ghanaian artists. Until today, Nigeria is still contributing in the lives of many Ghanaian musicians, many Ghanaians in entertainment, many Ghanaian actors. The earlier Ghanaians talk that they are nonsense, whether they think. The earlier they wake up, the earlier they realize and join the other Africans to celebrate Nigeria, the better for them. So everybody was there, Africans gathered to celebrate Nigeria's Afrobeat success. But Ghana was not there, except Ghana. Ghanaians, you need to come and tell us why you were not there. You will tell us whether you like it or not. Or we go hold you for neck. We go hold you for neck and you go tell us the truth. The truth will come out. So guys, earlier this week in Kigali, Rwanda. Rwanda is becoming a political headquarter for Africa. It's becoming a political uh, capital of Africa. You understand? Because, you know, Rwanda is standing out in some kind of things. Yeah. So Rwanda, there was a summit there in Rwanda. Nigerians were part of it. South Africans, yes. Finally, South Africans are... Some of them get sense, yeah. Some of them get sense. So they gathered there in Kigali, Rwanda. And Rwanda was there. Other Africans were there. The partnerships were there. Many people were there. In the gathering, the goal was to celebrate, to recognize, first of all, to recognize what Africa has done already with music. The achievements that African music has already gotten to. To celebrate the fact that African music is already globally accepted. That African music is already globally enjoyed, globally listened to everywhere in this world. That was a big call for celebration. This is a massive good move. And at the same time, they gathered there in Kigali, Rwanda to set up a commission, to set up a group of people that will be dedicated to promoting African music, to, be, to, to put money, to invest, and see how they can make better use of African music. Because remember, the white man is already interested in Afrobeat and African music, which means that if the white man is too quick 
they will colonize our music. Our musicians will be singing, but the white man will be the one making money. So that meeting is to avoid such things. So there was already that gathering to ensure that things can be done different. As a matter of fact, you could see that the discussion is showing that in 2025, by 2025, the music market, the Afrobeat music market alone will be worth about $100 billion. Hello? $100 billion in the African music market, Afrobeat. That will be its value. Do you know how much is $100 billion? So if Africa can find a way to harness this African talent, to put together this African talent, and this 100 billion can enter the African economy. You can imagine the massive economic impact that the entertainment sector, the African music, will bring to Africa, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, everybody that's involved in this Afrobeat stuff that we're talking about in this generation. You can look, you can see clear examples in America. The American music industry has transformed the lives and communities in black American uh, states. For example, when you look at people like Rihanna, the impact of her music career is going is far beyond black Americans, going right to her own country where she's coming from, in the Caribbean Americans. You look at how much people like Kanye West have made from music. Now you realize the impact of entertainment and the money that it can bring to Nigeria, to Africa, and to all of us. So I am very, very happy that Africa is finally waking up and taking these great steps, taking these great important steps to see that our music, our entertainment is recognized, is celebrated, is loved, and the money can be used to develop our economies. This will go a long way to help Nigeria, help Ghana, help Africa in general. So I was excited. Rwanda, you are doing well. This summit was absolutely necessary. It is what it is. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!